So this was how it started. If you sit on Twitter and you say that it's a different life and you can insult Lydia Forson that you haven't met before, if you meet her, you will go shush. If you I, can't if speak like right now. If because it looks like when you meet real human beings, you, you can't, can't speak wait. yourself. You can know you go back on Twitter and write and crap. Yes. <laughs> I don't At care. But <laughs> the thing is, you couldn't say it to my Welcome back guys. So I'm sure you are aware of this news and um, I'm just here to bring you the update on how things have been progressing since the last time. So a couple of just about I think a couple of weeks ago, um, journalist Albert aka Bongo Ideas was all over social media because of an encounter he had with Nanaba Namwa and two other judges on the show at gh1 where he was identified as a cyber an alleged cyber bully for that matter and apparently he had been trolling them on his twitter handle so it was sort of like a time for them to also do justice to him fast forward he was offered a job by kevin taylor after he had gotten fired allegedly for non-performance and back and forth he didn't reject kevin taylor's offer though but there were other links to Kujo Sheldon for being responsible for him getting fired. That was also trending. But then, fast forward, surprisingly, he got offered a deal by the EIB network of which GH1 is a subsidiary. And the offer was for him to become um, an ambassador for cyberbullying, as in anti cyberbullying ambassador. Yeah. And this seemed good you know it's like just when it seems like things were looking bad for the gentleman or for the young man there was suddenly some light in the midst of the storm in his life but surprisingly there is another twist and now he has turned down the offer and here are his reasons let's watch what he posted so this is what he said I have formally informed my family about the sudden turn of events in my life and they have received it solemnly. As a result, my family has advised that I stay out of the public domain and take a social media hiatus, an opportunity for self-rediscovery. Consequently, I'll be sorry, consequently, I'll not be able in my capacity as Albert Nat Hyde continue with the great initiative anti-cyberbullying campaign as discussed and widely publicized i would like to humbly thank at the real bullary at the nanaba and at eib network ghana for the kind gesture sorely i will not be able to play a part in the social campaign against cyberbullying come social media abuse at the moment I apologize for any inconvenience caused. As a result, this is a collective decision made by my family and me after careful and lengthy deliberations. Thank you very much and may God richly bless you all. I shall be back soon as a more refined person. Special acknowledgement at Caleb Ni Boy. Hashtag say no to cyberbullying okay so now here, here are my two cents i don't know if this is the truth that actually is pertaining behind the scenes or maybe he has gotten a counter advice to what he was going to go ahead and do with eib i don't know but assuming this is as it is and the truth is what he has put out I think it's not a bad idea sometimes after going through such a hectic thing and this is hectic you know he was all over social media in Ghana and for a young gentleman like that I think it's good he also takes some time off to regroup clear his head reassess his decisions and reassess his future and like he said it's very likely that when he comes out finally he is going to be a more refined person in whichever direction he decides to go as it stands now, we are not aware of any response he's given to Kevin Taylor's offer for a job. And let's see how it turns out. 
and for those of you who are yet to watch the original video with him on stage and the three judges including anaba disciplining him in quotes um, you can watch through the link here or go back to our playlist the video is in there and to end it you know um, i believe like i said what he's doing is good because he also went on zion felix show and he told him that with all that was happening apparently his mom was not even aware because his mom is not social media savvy and social media friendly so he later broke the news to his mom and his family and after a deliberation this is what the outcome seems to now be people are saying that he shouldn't have taken the eib gig others are saying it was good but for me uh, i would want to stay in the middle he knows what is best for him and now at least he has his family by him to help him make the best decision it could go left or right but let's wait to see how his decision will go and let's wait to see how he will come back as i wish him all the best he goofed but we are human and to air is human we all go in one way or the other but i'm hoping that he'll come back a better person and be a better person also on social media no judging him i wish him all the best bongo ideas go on your hiatus go chill out come back and continue your life as always it's yours truly impressive iq i'm out peace